All right, this is one of the nicest, latest days of the year that we have, and the weather's gonna turn pretty drastic in a couple days. So we're gonna use today, and we're going to refurbish one of our greenhouses, one of our largest greenhouses. We're gonna put another sheet of plastic on it, cover the compost up so it heats it, and make it really nice for our upcoming farm chores. We're gonna take you along with and show you this process. We're also gonna take a peek inside. We've just had our first killing frost here. So everything's kind of brown as you can see, but we're gonna take a peek in a greenhouse and show everybody out there why they should build their own greenhouse. Follow us. Before we can even <laughs> start this, look at the size of the trees. That is all new growth since this spring, figs and peaches growing out of the greenhouses. So we're gonna take you also along the sides of the greenhouses where the mulch is and show you the red wiggler worm. Stay tuned at the end of the video for that special treat. The next step is we gotta prune this massive growth back inside the greenhouse in order to let people come inside and tour it for our farm tours. So if you saw it just a little bit ago, you saw a little kitty cat on the ground there walking. He is our mouse control. Utah has a feral program, feral kitty cat program that they fix kitty cats that are working cats and then they bring them back to your property so they can take care of all the mice. We do not have any mouse problems. So we get that question a lot and that is the answer. So these are donut peach trees we are trimming back and strawberries. The Albion and Seascape are day neutral, ever bearings, and they produce huge strawberries. So we're gonna trim these back so we can get another crop of strawberries late in the fall. So I have my neighbors here, the master gardener neighbors that love to see what we're doing and they're cleaning up the greenhouse for our tours. We are currently taking a waiting list for our farm tours. So if you wanna come see 15 foot citrus trees, full-size avocados. Can you believe that? Full-size avocado trees. Um, you come and sign up on our waiting list for our tours. We have a waiting list for our farm tours right now. So we take a look at the greenhouse and we're gonna refurbish it, make it look nice. We have all this compost around the sides. So we're gonna do a hamburger effect and put another sheet of plastic over that compost, allow those little red wiggler worms to have shelter over the winter and heat this thing up real nice so we can keep growing through the winter. All right, we use used greenhouse plastic from nurseries. They change out their plastic every five years and we get this used plastic. It's four or five years old, but it'll last another five years. Take a look at how much we have. used greenhouse plastic only cost me $50. If I would have bought it brand new on eBay, it would have been $175. So a really good deal. We have it draped over right now and it looks really nice. Let's take a look at it. And the best way to get the plastic to hold and the compost under the plastic is to actually screw wood into the metal post. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna make a windproof. We got all the compost under the plastic to help heat it. We're gonna make it really nice. Follow us. We'll have our guy come and he'll bring grass clippings. The lawn company that delivers these, Talon, he's gonna bring the grass clippings. He's gonna put it around the plastic. We're gonna do a hamburger effect where we have compost under the plastic and also compost around the next section. So it heats it in between the layers. This is gonna be a Hobbit greenhouse and it's gonna really hold in that heat great. All this hyper insulation where it's insulated so well but all that heat is held in and then we have additional compost breaking down inside, heating it at the same time. Okay, my little friend that's helping me build this, Eric and I are at Home Depot. We're gonna get some two by fours that we can fasten on the outside of the plastic, screwing it in to the steel pipes and this will really help it when the wind blows like crazy. So this will hold it really well down to the wind and we see two by fours are a really great price right now. I always wish that these Home Depot workers here would help us out a little bit, but um, anyway, he's screwing it onto the outside of the greenhouse. So here's the plastic and we're gonna get this secure. Okay, it's starting to look good. We have the wood boards, the two by fours screwed into the metal posts, hold the plastic in, the compost is covered. Now we need to put some supports down, hold this plastic on the bottom part. So let's continue on the other side and get some more two by four supports in. So as you can see, we've covered the straw up with plastic that will actually break down and help heat this. 
I'm going to add more straw along the bottom of this greenhouse to make it look pretty and to hold that plastic on the bottom really well. The middle part is fastened in with two by fours and now we're gonna work on the windows. We wanna keep it so we can open and close these windows really easy and we're gonna close them up now for the winter. We'll open them up again about mid-April and this will allow some really good ventilation of the donut peach orchard we have inside of here. So it's all looking really well and it's a nice day out here. Eric is so kind to do this and well, we want him to do a really good job, which he is, and get this around the outside of the window. This will also help hold it when the wind blows. So this is used greenhouse plastic, and they tell me they take this down every five years for insurance purposes. Honest, so the plastic is still perfect, but they have to take it down and have brand new plastic on it for the big greenhouse operators that grow plants for their insurance policy. So we take advantage of that, and we get this used plastic, which is absolutely perfect. Put it around our greenhouses and wow, it looks really nice. We have compost inside of it, heating it, water barrels inside, and a big fortress of grass clippings and bags that we put around the original structure that still heats it inside. So this is a very nice earthship sort of greenhouse that can totally sustain citrus trees in Utah without heaters. If you enjoy videos like this, please follow and subscribe to our channel today. Well, going back in, <laughs> I missed some peach trees. Let's keep pruning these back <laughs> so people can walk in here through the farm tours. We're so excited to show you this in person that we want to get this looking really nice so you'll enjoy it a lot. Let's take a look at what we have on the sides of the greenhouse. So let's take one more look at this. Let's do another handful. Look at the red wiggler worms. People pay money for these and we're harvesting these around our greenhouses.